up everybody welcome back to the channel and feels pretty good to be back on the camera I haven't filmed any content this year but here we are filming the first video in 2021 this is the first video that I'm filming of the year brand new year feels good and behind me yeah that's right that is a Toyota 4Runner 1998 SR5 trim model 4Runner 4x4 and it's got some custom work done to it I'm filming today on my DJI Osmo Pocket and I don't have my arm that extends to my camera so I can't get a wide angle of view but I'll get the camera flipped around that way we can get some shots around the truck so I can show you guys how the body's looking the type of wheels suspension the upgrades stuff like that this truck is set up for overlanding so it's an off-road truck it's not really like a street setup or anything like that it's just set up for overlanding to get over different obstacles it's got a snorkel on it, that way we can cross little streams and rivers and we don't hydro lock the motor. But yeah guys, thank you so much for those that have been subscribed since last year when I started uploading videos more frequently. I did a lot of work last year in 2020 on my channel. Not a whole lot, but a lot more than I did in recent years in 2019 and 2018 when I've been filming videos since like 2018, 2017. It's now 2021. My channel's growing a lot. I got a lot more subscribers in the recent months. A lot of comment activity, a lot of likes, and a lot of support from YouTube. And I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for checking out my channel. I try to make my channel different from, you know, other types of various automotive channels on YouTube. And I try not to center it too much around automotive, you know, just cars and stuff. I try to implement different things about my life. So, but today, I got this 4Runner. I'm really excited to show you guys. If you're from California, Arizona, stuff like that, Las Vegas, four, four wheeling is really popular in these areas. A lot of people like these Toyota third gens. So yeah, these Toyota four runners are very popular, even the newer models, but typically the third gens, there's a big fan base, a lot of Facebook groups that really like these trucks. There's a lot of support, aftermarket upgrades. There's a tons of things you can do with these third gen four runners because they're really narrow, but they're really capable if you do just a few adjustments and little upgrades on them. So let me show you guys around the truck. So here's the first walk around on the truck. You can see it's a white SR5 4Runner. This is a base model SR5, but this truck came with a sunroof. So that's weird that it's a base model, but it comes with a sunroof, I guess. I guess that was an option. We got here, this is a sport hood with a scoop. So this doesn't come on the SR5 base model. Someone upgraded this hood on the truck and paint matched it. Otherwise they found a stock white hood. But it doesn't look like it was repainted. Matches up pretty good. We got an ARB front bumper. This is a really heavy duty front bumper by ARB. It's winch ready, but I don't have a winch mounted on it. But we could put one on if we had to. Bolts up to the front frame. It looks pretty nice. Gives it a really good look. I like the front bumper on it. Got the Salinas tires and wheels license plate because they help me out a lot. A lot of my vehicles, I get tires from them. Here we go, we got this snorkel right here. This is from like Amazon. It's not really a name brand snorkel, but it does the job. I took it across the river two weeks ago. Didn't have no trouble, no water in the motor. Just kept the motor nice and dry. Here you can see they're not the cleanest right now, but we have the TRD Pro wheels. These are TRD Off-Road Pro wheels, I believe, off a of 4Runner. Those give it a really nice look. I like the way it looks with those TRD wheels. We got them all around, and we even have a fifth wheel as a spare. So it's always nice to have a full-size spare if you have somewhere to put it. These are 35-inch tires. Not that many people put 35 inch tires on these trucks just because the tires are really, really big. So you have to kind of do some trimming on the body, trimming on the fenders if you want to run 35s without any rubbing issues. I don't have any issues with these 35 inch tires. Some people I know do a body lift on the chassis to give you a little bit more room. I wouldn't want to raise my body, I don't like the way that looks. Kind of looks weird when you lift it off the frame and you put spacers. but. With some trimming and some banging, you could definitely get these 35 inch tires to fit with the right lift kit. So you can see right here on the bottom, we have some sliders welded onto the frame. The front end 
has new bushings, the subframe's been replaced. Sorry, not the subframe, I mean the rack and pinion bushings have been replaced. So everything is solid in the front end. Also has Toyota Tundra brake conversion on the front. So it gives you a little bit more stopping power. Not a whole lot, but it's a difference. Custom built rack on top that's very heavy duty. You could stand on that with like three or four people. Then we have an ARB awning right here to pull out when you're hanging out with your friends and it gets really sunny. Pretty cool awning right here. Just unzips. Unzip it. Pull it out. Then the legs pull out. And then you can just plant it into the ground wherever you are. And it fits pretty good. I like these awnings. They really help out. Got some WeatherTech visors on it to give it a little more custom look. Then it's got a rear high clearance bumper as well. This is mounted to the frame. It's not welded to the frame, but it's mounted. This is a California truck. That means we don't have any issues with rust. Nothing like that. Very solid frame. It's got a rear rear e-locker conversion. So this SR5 four-wheel drive model didn't come with the e-locker. But it's been converted to have a rear e-locker. Then we got the Bilstein shocks. Old man EMU rear springs. Really solid undercarriage. Got a tow hitch on this high clearance bumper, which is nice. Like I said, we have the TRD fifth spare wheel to match all the other sets and I'm running federal tires right here 35 inch federal tires those do a really good job then we got a jerry can and a high clearance jack right there mounted to the back this all swings out I'll get it open momentarily and I'll show you guys what's sitting inside the back of the rig but this swings out that way you have access to all of the stuff inside You can see this rig has a little bit of damage from slamming against rocks. Previous owner did this, I didn't do this. I'm not that crazy with overlanding. I don't go anywhere crazy like that. I did take it to Riverside and I have a POV video of me driving it. So I'll get that uploaded soon. Stay posted for that video of a POV driving this and taking it off road. Let me show you guys inside the truck a little bit. It's pretty much stock on the inside limo tinted windows stock sr5 cloth interior got the cloth seats but we still have the sunroof some people prefer the cloth seats because when you take care of them they don't rip as much as the leather seats everyone has their preference some people prefer these seats without the wiring underneath for the motors and stuff arb compressor switch right here so this turns on the arb onboard compressor so you can air down and air your tires up, or if you have someone else that needs air, you can give them air as well. This is the ARB front locker, so this locks the front differential using the compressor. You can see this truck's in a 200,000 mile club. These trucks are known to last up to 400,000, 500,000 miles if you take care of them. This one is at 200,000 and has no issues with the motor or transmission doubled in stereo then we got the 4x4 option right there i usually drive it in two-wheel drive pretty much stock interior that's about it it's in decent condition i'll show you guys the back let me get the back rear end opened up you can see the high clearance bumper mounts right here to the frame so let me get the rear end opened up and then i'll show you guys what's in the trunk that's how the back swings out, that way you can open up your tailgate and fully access everything that's inside. It's pretty strong as well. It's very heavy though. If you have gasoline in this jerry can, sometimes I need help. I need my friends to help me pull this jack up because it sags a little bit. But I think the bearing's broken in here. But it still works fine. This is the ARB compressor. This is the onboard air supply right here. Then you can see we have an airline hooked up to it right here with the, with the gauge to see how much PSI you're putting into your tire. This is very handy to have. I recommend installing one of these in your rig. If you have a rig or you go overlanding or you carry any toys with you on the trailer, this can help out a lot. That's about it that's mounted to the truck. I carry some tools with me and an ice chest because I was doing some off-roading last weekend. Like I said, I'm going to have a POV video of that popping up anytime soon on my channel. 
but you can still access everything with this swing out it's good to have one that swings out because you can put stuff in and out and it doesn't really get in the way little look at the rear bumper high clearance rear bumper makes it easy to clear any obstacles that you're coming across when you're going off-road but the truck overall is in pretty good condition I like the 4Runner 3rd gen this is my favorite truck I've owned multiple 4Runner 3rd gens but I've never had one that's this far in a build it has a lot of aftermarket parts let's give you guys a look under the hood at the infamous Toyota V6 right here this is what I'm talking about guys this motor has been known to last half a million miles even more I've never had any issues with this particular motor in this chassis with over 200,000 miles I've owned another 4Runner 4x4 as well that had over 200,000 miles I did not have any issues with that and I've owned one with less miles but these motors are really reliable as long as you take care of them you know take care of the timing belt the water pump spark plugs plug wires valve cover gaskets oil pan gasket stuff like that it's really simple these motors can last you a really long time a lot of people like these engines just because they're super reliable but yeah over 200,000 miles on this rig no issues with the motor or transmission it runs great it's really dusty like I said I just took it off-roading so I only washed the outside I haven't washed the motor or the undercarriage yet it's really dusty yet this is a clean title truck so it hasn't been in any accidents at all the frame is straight, all the corners line up great. Stock motor besides the snorkel, that's it. Stock exhaust system. These third gen 4Runners are one of my favorite trucks. I like the third gen 4Runners. They're really popular here in California. Even Arizona, surrounding areas, Las Vegas, these trucks are still really popular. A lot of people like them because they fit pretty much anywhere they're really narrow like I said they're really reliable and they don't take much work to get them to go overland or anything like that you can take them camping you can haul stuff with them they're really good trucks so I was really excited to bring this truck to my channel like I said I've owned a few of these I really like the third gen 4Runners but I will be upgrading soon to a V8 4Runner or I might go with the FJ Cruiser whatever I find that fits my preferences I'm gonna start looking soon so You'll see some more off-road trucks on my channel coming up soon. Like I said, I'm going to switch to a FJ Cruiser or a V8 4Runner. I'm not sure yet. I'm still thinking about it and it's going to take some time because I want to take my time looking for that truck. But this is my third gen 4Runner. I've got someone driving by right here. Let's let him pass by. But yeah, this is my third gen 4Runner right here. One of my most favorite 4Runners that I've owned. I like this one. I like the way it's set up. I took it off-roading, didn't have any trouble. Handles really good. The tires that it has, the Federal tires, 35 inch, they can get you out of any mess pretty much. And when you're able to air down and air back up, that's really helpful. Having lockers on the front and rear can get you pretty much anywhere and can help recover other people if they get stuck with open differentials. I've seen it happen plenty of times. on the trails with your friends but stay tuned guys I'll have some more off-road trucks on my channel everyone who came through in 2020 who's been subscribed to my channel commenting liking my videos is pretty cool I appreciate the support and I'll have a lot of more videos coming out here in 2021 this is my first video but I'm gonna continue making more got more vehicles coming soon I just had to show you guys this forerunner because I really like the way it's set up it's a really nice truck and a lot of people are a fan of it so I thought it would be good to bring to my channel but thank you guys for the support. I appreciate it. And we'll see what I get in the future. V8 4Runner or FJ Cruiser. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you want to see what vehicle I purchase next. It's going to be a truck for sure, but I'm not sure which one. But till then, guys, I'll give you guys some shots of the 4Runner before I take off. So you guys can see a little bit of the modifications and the body up close. So I'm going to hit you with these scenes of the truck. Then I'll catch you guys later on the next episode. Like I said, thank you for the support. And I'll catch you guys later.